I kind of went out in a blaze of glory. If your science experiment was going to go wrong, it might as well happen on the way to space and for the whole world to see. That's exactly what occurred when these four Kamloops students watched more than a year of hard work burst into flames. And they said the engines were at 108% and then it kind of stopped and then started to fall and exploded. If anything's going to fail, at least no one was hurt. We were all thankful for that. And the blaze of glory was kind of cool. It was disappointing. It's a setback, but it doesn't stop us. The boys were selected from an array of students in the Kamloops Thompson School District who submitted experiments in the hopes of sending them to the International Space Station. But once they were chosen, it would cost $25,000 to launch. The NCESSE, he put us in touch with a number of mostly aerospace companies that would be interested in potentially helping us. Essentially, I would say 90% money that came from British Columbia and companies and organizations in British Columbia interested in, in, in making making, I guess, the dream of uh, kids being able to put a, an experiment into space a reality. The project was a microgravity experiment that was set to launch into space alongside 17 others, all from U.S. schools. This experiment, the one that was on the exploding rocket, was sort of like this one, basically the same. So we have two chemicals inside of it, sodium thiosulfate, on one side and barium chloride on the other and they will mix through water in the middle and create crystals. Despite all the students hard work going up in flames along with all the funds they'd collected for the experiment there is a silver lining in all this. The, the National Center in uh, Washington DC is being fully funded for a replacement flight. The trick will be is that the, all of the, and our district's experiment, the boys' experiment, is one of 18 that was being flown, will have to re-prepare their exper experimental payload, send it down to, I think we originally sent it to Texas, to NanoRacks, which is the launch services provider, who then ferries it to Virginia, uh, and it will be relaunched, essentially at no additional cost to us. Uh, we're definitely going to do another experiment, but we don't exactly know when we're going to be allowed to send up the ISS Mission 6 again. No one was injured in the explosion, and an explanation as to what caused the incident still hasn't been answered, although NASA hopes to be back on track soon. Jen Zielinski in Kamloops for Castanet News.